Good morning. It's Friday, October 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Storm Rages, and our scriptures Mark chapter 4. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus to the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? It almost seems frightening to address the subject of plugging in to God Almighty and His power. It's one thing to talk about the awesome God who created the universe and holds it all in the palm of His hand. It's quite another to contemplate standing near that power or having that powerful presence turning your life upside down. Think Jesus in the middle of the boat, the storm's raging, and Jesus caused it, and then he speaks to it, and it hushes up. I've been more comfortable around bare wires connected to a 220-volt line. God's creative power is such that even the smallest thing takes on new significance when we consider his work. Take bacteria, for instance. Some bacteria divide every 20 minutes. If just one of those microscopic blobs could get enough food and dispose of its waste, it could theoretically, in just 48 hours, grow to a size 4,000 times the size of Earth. If God could put that kind of potential in a single bacteria cell, there isn't anything we can imagine more powerful. When Jesus came into that boat in that dark hour, when his disciples were struggling against the raging storm, he simply said, It is I. Don't be afraid. Then he looked at the wind and said, Hush. It takes power to do that. And the words translated, It is I, are, in the language of the ancient scriptures, Ego emi, I am. Any question about the source of that power? For you today, in the midst of life's storms, go to God. He's your source. He's certain. He's secure. And he's willing to share with you if you'll pass it on to others. He said so, and he did so. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.